Hello everyone, welcome to Brain Blitz Audios. Today, in this episode of CBSE Multiple Choice Questions, we're going to be dealing with some questions asked for the social sciences subject. So, in this episode, we're going to be looking at sample questions, uh, which can be asked for students of grade 10 in CBSE for the subject social science. Now, remember the last episode we did a social science episode as well, where we looked at questions uh, in history and we decided on how to find those answers based on elimination of options as well as from referring the textbook. However, you don't have the textbook for the exam, so it's best to learn them, learn the textbook as well. Today we're going to be looking on some questions on geography and let's see what, what happens. So here comes our first question. Choose the correctly matched pair about the crops and the areas they're grown in. A. Groundnut in Assam. B. Tea in Gujarat. C. Coffee in Karnataka. D. Sugarcane in Chhattisgarh. So, how do we solve this question? Well, let's eliminate the options. Option A says groundnut grows in Assam, whereas in reality, groundnut grows in the state of Gujarat. So therefore, option A is incorrect because it isn't correctly matched. Now what about option B? It says T, Gujarat. Gujarat is very dry and T requires a moist climate. So therefore states like Assam, Kerala, etc. are leaders in growing T. So therefore option B is also incorrect. What about option D? Sugarcane in Chhattisgarh. Well, the main producers of sugarcane are Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Bihar, Punjab, Haryana, etc. So Chhattisgarh isn't on that list, so therefore option D is incorrect. The correct option here is option C, coffee in Karnataka. So in India, tea, coffee, rubber, sugarcane, banana, etc. are important plantation crops. Tea in Assam and North Bengal coffee in Karnataka are some of the important plantation crops. So this is from page 35 from chapter 4, which is agriculture and geography. So therefore, from the extract, it's clear that option C is the correct option. Next question. The piece of land left uncultivated for the past one to five agricultural years is called barren land, forest land, grazing land, or fallow land. So which of these is the correct option? Now let's look at each of these options and try to eliminate them. So option A says barren land. Well, the term barren land explains itself. It is land which has poor soil, which means that it cannot support the growth of any plants, let alone intensive crops. So therefore, option A is incorrect. It's not left uncultivated for one to five years. It's left uncultivated forever because you cannot support the growth of crops here. Now, what about option B, forest land? Well, forest land is basically areas which are covered by pristine forest vegetation. So that means that these are areas with extreme biodiversity and therefore they are not to be touched because if you do that then you'll lo risk the lo loss of biodiversity and so therefore option B is also incorrect. They're not left uncultivated for one to five years. They are left uncultivated forever because they are a biodiversity hotspot and therefore it is best left conserved. Now what about option C, grazing land? Now these are areas which contain grass as the primary vegetation and they are used for animal husbandry. So you have herders coming over from various areas onto grazing fields and then grazing their 
cattle in them so as to get the animal products such as milk, meat, etc. So therefore, option C is also incorrect because this is left uncultivated for the use of animals. So that means option C is also incorrect. The correct option here is option D, fallow land. So this is usually a general knowledge question, but it can be asked for social studies exams. So piece of land left uncultivated for the past one to five agricultural years is called fallow land. Option D is the correct option. Now let's look at the final question of this episode. Which one of the following conferences was convened to discuss environmental protection and socioeconomic development at the global level in 1992? We have the Kyoto Protocol, the Montreal Protocol, the Rio de Janeiro Earth Summit, the World Summit on Sustainable Development. So let's look at the year in particular. It says 1992. And we have, and we're looking at a summit with discusses environmental protection as well as socioeconomic development. So let's look at each of the protocols and when they were enacted. Now, option D is the World Summit on Sustainable Development. This took place in Johannesburg, and the year was 2002. So option D is incorrect. What about option A, the Kyoto Protocol? The Kyoto Protocol was signed in 1997 and brought into effect in February 1998. So therefore, option A is also incorrect because the summit in question happened in 1992. Now, what about option B, the Montreal Protocol, the protocol that, you know, brought into account the rising levels of chlorofluorocarbons and ways to tackle them? Well, this summit took place in 1987, so it was before the summit in question, so therefore option B is also incorrect. The correct answer is option C, Rio de Janeiro Earth Summit. So if you look at the question, it says environmental protection, socioeconomic development, both of these terms coming together is what we refer to as sustainability. So when we define sustainability, it is to protect uh, our natural resources from getting degraded as well as to save them for future generations. So therefore the first summit for that was the Rio summit and the Rio Earth summit was held in 1992. So therefore option C is the correct option. So that concludes this episode of CBSC MCQs. We hope you found this episode interesting. For more of our useful and interesting content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, which is Brain Blitz Audios. We have a lot of questions uploaded in this playlist. If you want to access those, then please hit the link for that playlist. It's present in the description box below. And also, if you want to get our latest updates from the channel, then please hit the notifications icon and set it to all. So, until the next webisode, Take care, stay safe, bye-bye for now.